Hey, I'm Kev Care, I'm a scum. Welcome back to Burnout Paradise Remastered. There's a nook. We have swapped four wheels, four two. Let's see on the Nakamura FB 1100. Which got decent speed and boost. Not boost, speed and strength. You don't get boost with the bikes. So we're trying to discover an event to do. We've gone past a couple of midnight rides, but of course they can only happen, you know, around midnight. So we're try and look for a burning ride to do. Let's just explore the city on two wheels. There's a midnight ride. Let's see what it's like. So we're not actually discovering many events, are we? Where are they all? Oh, and it looks like there's one over here. That's on the freeway. Oh, if we go down, actually, it looks like there's a burning ride. But yeah, it's pretty different on two wheels than four. You don't have the boost, which is a pretty big thing in burnout. Obviously, taking down stuff, not as easy. That's why you mainly have these single events. Get ready to race. You are here. The clock is ticking. As of course we choose the longest burning route, burning ride to do. 8 minutes 41 is the target time. As you can see it's a bit like Big Surf Island as well, we've got to go through the checkpoints. Make sure we do it. As we go around the outside of the map, this will take a while. Going to aim for 8 minutes then. So we've got to go to the left. So this thing handles beautifully. There are only four bikes in total. Of course, it's quite different for Burnout to have bikes. Well, it is different. So it's nice to have two wheels. This game is our riders looking backwards. I don't know why. It's not being chased or anything. Go down this route. Oh, here we go. Let's see how it does the jumps. Oh, easy. Oh, done. There go along our favourite naval yard route. It feels so weird not being able to use boost in the race as well. I do like the little animations for the riders. As we're a quarter of the way there. Not actually, but we kind of hope we were. We've got two and a half miles to go to a South Mountain Drive. And so the bike's going to feel a bit sterile compared to guys not having boost. Bikes handle nicely though, remember. We've got two bikes of A-Belt before. We've got this and the Firehawk, which is much quicker, much more round. It's a bit like a super bike in real life terms. So got to go left. So I'm definitely going to show that off as well in this bikes episode. But it's a shame you can't like have a race where you're knocking off other riders. And a bit like, was it road road rash? Is that one I'm thinking of? Road rage? One of those demo demolition derby bikes games, but. Yeah, this is all you do. These are burning rides, and you've got the midnight rides that happen you know, around midnight, and very similar in concept. You've got three of eight. But yeah, I guess it is nice just having the variety in the game, even if, even if perhaps they could have done a bit more, maybe with it. But still, having two wheels in the burnout game, pretty cool. I'm enjoying driving these bikes because I do like two world racing as well. So we're almost halfway there on the checkpoints and we're obliterating it time wise. Because it's three minutes, just over three minutes, and we're already at checkpoint four. Because you've barely got the lift on this bike, just dabbing the brakes around corners occasionally. That's about it. You don't really need to use 
of the shortcuts for these bikes as well as oh here we go take this jump oh yes so 1.7 of where we need to be by the time we finish this we might be able to do a midnight ride looking at the time in the bottom bottom right Oh, there's a shortcut here, isn't there? Yeah, super jump. Oh, just about does it. This ride has balls of steel. So approaching the halfway mark time-wise, we're about to go through checkpoint five. That's it, getting it in this bike. Surprise, we haven't crashed yet as well. So let's go down this route. As it does rejoin at the end, as we go around three and a half miles to go to East Crawford and Lambert. I do think this is the longest burning ride as well. At least I'd hope so, because it's going around the outside of the map. I don't think you can go and get much longer. It's all a bit wide. But you can see our rider's got a helmet of steel. And just destroy everything as well, just like the cars. So go into the tunnel. We'll go down here. Don't, be going, don't want to be going into oncoming traffic. Luckily, there's not much traffic at all. Let's do we go left? No, and it seems like, seems like we're just going straight ahead. Even though that marker's all the way to the left. Do we go left here then? We go over the jump. Yep, we do. Into a much more wide open tunnel. We've got just over a mile to go. Just got under three minutes to go as well. We're just over three minutes. That's how long we've ridden. I'm not used to it. It's like the older man TT game of how long this lap is. I think we've got to go left. There. Get out of the way, that post. Get out of the way, cars. And then we've got to go right. Because we've got just two checkpoints to go. I was doing aiming for eight minutes, but well, I was then that's a very doable target. We've got around a mile to go. Just along the sea front. Not much to say actually about these events, is there? You've just seen them now. It's burning routes. Been rides, should I say? Been up rides. So it's a bit like Big Surf Islands. It's rather nice to decide by percentage rather than you know, events you've won. We've got to go to the left. We've got less than a mile to go. Could be around the seven minute mark. So there's no other stuff to really do on the bike, so the percentage is actually all these events. I think it's 15 total. It's all get out of the way, taxi. So yeah, we're going to smash it by around a minute and a half. Easy burning ride. And another winner. So I've already shown the bikes off once before with the toy bike. We're now on the proper bike, 5% complete. Got around four between 40 and 50 events to do, I believe, on these bikes. So let's head up here. Let's see if there are any other events to do up here. Going round. I seem like normally we've got to unlock events. But I don't see many events on the map at the moment. Oh, so there's another burning ride down here. Let's do this one, and then we'll switch bikes up. So that was a long event to start with. Very long for burnout. Normally it's over in a couple of minutes. So auto repair. How have we not discovered that? Where have we? That's damn you. You are here. 
gear. Race southwest to the naval yard. You see a different burner ride just like normal. We've got just over three miles to get to the naval yard. Let's boost away. Let's see if we go in the left of me over that bridge. And just go straight down. Yeah, over this bridge. Look at that, didn't even need to break through it, lift or anything. That's what I love about these bikes being so grippy as once again our rider's looking backwards. Did he just Do we actually have a camera go following him? Is that's why he's so nervous? It's like, what is this camera doing following me everywhere? It's like someone's controlling me or something. And it's, oh, gotta go this way. And just straight ahead, get out of the way, bus. Does this bike have a horn? Don't think so. Oh, it's nice that you can destroy everything with it as well. It's all just about made our turning. Oh dear. That guy's fine. He knows where he is. It's all okay. He just got another left turn to take. And it's a straight path to the finish. Oh, we're just avoiding traffic. Let's see if we go through a boat boost station. Nothing happens. It's just avoiding traffic again. But it's like we're going to crush this as well. Go around 23 seconds. Easy. That's another win on the bikes. And now we are 7% complete. It's a midnight ride there as well, but let's switch up bikes, shall we? And go on the Firehawk and show that off. Here it is, the Nakamura Firehawk V4. Look at all that speed. Not a lot of strength, though, compared to the F3 1100. That's the next pretty as well. You are here. Race northwest to the Crystal Summit Observatory. So we've got five miles to go in just under three minutes. So we definitely chose the right bike then, with all its speed. Let's see how we do. Oh, just avoiding vans. Look how maneuverable it is. Look how nice it looks when it crashes. You know, just a wonderful bike. So let's choose the shortcut. I think we do have to go right and then go straight ahead. Now unleash the power. Oh, that is a beautiful sound. I think we've just got to go straight ahead as well. Past the repair centre. As if we go into the repair centre, nothing happens. And then we've got to go right, don't we? Or oh, straight ahead anyway. But we've already done like half the distance and we haven't even reached a minute. I guess we're not doing too badly then. Just follow the road. Boy, it's insane how far to go past these cars on this bike. Oh, this is crazy fast. I don't know how we are staying up, right? Just being a chump and actually going round the corner or trying. This is still staying up, right, though. Let's all get out of here, Vince. As far as our rider doesn't mind taking his punishment. We've got just under a mile to go and we've got over a minute left. Okay, I probably shouldn't have been so worried then when it said do this in two, just under three minutes. It's normally in the cars it's a bit more difficult, but on this bike, it's easy. They're just over two minutes. What a machine. That's now 10% complete, so I think it is 40 events then. Because we've done four events. We've got 10% complete, so 
No logic dictates that there are 40 events to do. There's quite a few burning rides as well. I don't think we actually have to discover stuff. They're just there on the map. Let's see, midnight ride. We can't wait there for six hours. Let's do the... Let's do the burning ride down here. We've got 44 seconds to beat. Oh, no, I can do that on this one. Look at that through that corner. Insane lean. Oh, oh, my God. Going a bit wide. Oh, we're going to smash you, surely. As long as we don't smash ourselves. Easy. Or two of 20. Hound dog. So we've got 2 minute 40, 4.6 miles, should be easy, but it's like the observatory, then it's like we've got a bit more of a messy route, so we've got to keep a very good eye out for those arrows indicators at the top, there's our oh, nick of this going downhill, keep going straight ahead, Last repair shop. Basically just going back to where we were, aren't we? In the city, so it's on the other side of the city. Got a bit carried away. How much, how much grip this has. Couldn't keep up. Yeah, then we just follow this route through the tunnel. We've been most of the distance covered. Actually, we just follow this road, don't we? So maybe the route isn't as messy then, as I thought. Just look at the map, see where it was like. How many different routes can we take? Many different combinations, but then it just turns out to be a straight line, it looks like. Well, for the most part. So we're just about breaking as we get some air. Looks like we've got to turn right soon. Once we cross the bridge, oh, before we cross the bridge, apparently. We go left over this bridge. Then go right. Well, this is just convoluted. Bloody hell. Stop telling us to turn everywhere. Turn here, because then we've got a straight line. Do the finish. We're going to do this in under two minutes. Absolutely insane. Oh, that's a messy finish for a rider. Looks like he's still upright, though. That's 13% complete. You can see the bike perhaps not the best at grinding rails. That's all, that's big surf island. Do we want to go there on our bike? We've got another road rule to beat. Or Angus Wharf. Guess I can beat you then on this bike. Just gonna waste some time until we can do a midnight ride then. I'm guessing doing shortcuts is cheating then. Going to the top. I'm guessing you can't do showtime events with the bike. Riding around the edge of the map, wait until midnight. The beds are so spread out as well, the bikes. Perhaps isn't the best. So here we go. Four take seconds on Hamilton Avenue. Are we still doing it or did that egg not discount it or whatever? So here we go, we can do a midnight ride in front. You are here. Race northwest to the Crystal Summit Observatory. 
So just over three minutes to do around five miles. I think we've done this before. But now we're doing it at night. Let's see if we're uh, as successful. Do we have to go left? No. Let's keep racing down this road. I guess into the very end and then we go left. Left there. Already oh, covered them all in under 30 seconds. Whoa, okay. We've been very good avoiding traffic, but definitely not on that occasion. That car ride is indestructible. That was merely just a flesh room for him. And once again, he's looking back. We're on the other, wrong side of the road, but we're getting away with it. Don't turn right. And I think we remember it from here. Just follow this road round. We do love this at night. Look at that with the like, headlights on front of the bike as well. It's wonderful. Not crashing like that though. Once again, sometimes I just can't keep up with this bike. How speedy it is. Not very strong though. So maybe you don't have to crash it too much. So around halfway there time wise. Got 1.5 miles left though. Looks like we've got Pirelli Hypersofts on these bikes. Insanely grippy. Looking around the outside, getting away with it. Half a mile to go. And it looks like we're going to do it by around 50 seconds. Or around a minute, should I say. Can't believe how fast we took that last section. That's 15% complete. Should we go back? Because there's a midnight ride here to end things. We hope you have enjoyed seeing the bikes being shown off as well. Before we achieved that burnout license. You are here. Race east to the Coast Guard HQ. Uh, so just going back to where we were, got around five miles. Just over three minutes to do it. And we've just got to follow this road, I think, round, and that's it. Let's see if we can do it without any crashes this time, though. Have a nice clean run. The last event here. I've forgotten how insane this bike is. How grippy it is. Even sliding. He's already covered a mole. Around 30 seconds again. On the wrong side of the road. Get your motor running. It's not bad. Do we go there? Guess we don't. Let's keep going straight ahead. It's already halfway there. We've got done that in less than a minute. So now we go left into the tunnel. Oh, we decided a bit wide there. Going through the dirt. Very grippy on the tarmac. Maybe not as much on the dirt. As perhaps you would expect. But then we just go in a straight line, do we, through here? Oh, if we turned to the left earlier, then we could have just gone in a straight line. Once again, we're rejoining kind of the middle of the city. So we had to slow it down there. I could see disaster about to happen. Keep going straight ahead. And follow it round, actually, it looks like. We just follow this road. Yeah, go left. And go left again. And we've completed this with over a minute remaining this time. Lovely keen ride into the sunset as well. 
That's now up to 18% complete. Well, that's been a pretty fun time though with the bikes. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we're back with the cars next time out to get that burnout license. So let's see if we can really in this thing. So unfortunately, I'll see you next time.